Hello there. I am Shalmali. I am Durga. And we are the Rafty Dames. Welcome back to the third video from our Christmas series. And the first one we are doing together after a really long time. It's been a difficult two years for all of us. Especially the kids who have to miss school. But schools are reopening and kids are going back to school. So to encourage them, we have decided to make some school supplies. And since it's Christmas, we are obviously going to make them Christmassy. So today's video is going to be about hamper making. So we have made a kids hamper. And not just any hamper, a back to school themed Christmas hamper. So let's go check it out. To make our notepad, we took the help of our dear friend Mahesh who made these cute and beautiful designs for us to choose from. And we have our winner for the notepad. So we went and got them printed out and cut them evenly to make a beautiful stack. When we cut out a cardboard in the same shape which will be the base of this notepad. Once the pages are evenly stacked, we place them between two books or any two heavy objects. Just the one book won't do so we'll be adding a few more books on top. Put as much pressure as you can from the top and take some fevicol or any glue that you prefer and apply it over the edges of the notepad. So we let that dry and repeat the process about 5 to 6 times. Once the last layer is dried, remove all the books and get the notepad out and let's see how it has turned out. All the pages are nicely aligned and the top is nicely fused with the fevicol. Now let's see if it tears out properly. And it's perfect. Our notepad has turned out to be beautiful, cute. Now let's wrap it with some beautiful Christmas themed wrapping paper. And a Christmas themed notepad is all ready and it's so pretty and so cute. To decorate our pencils we'll need some acrylic colors and the first one I'm going to do is in white. So I'll be giving it about 2 to 3 coats of white paint. Once all the coats are done and it's dry, we take a red color and start painting strips on the pencil. You can ask someone to hold the pencil for you and you just keep turning it around so it becomes easier to make the strips that way. Try and make sure that they are evenly spaced so that they look like a candy cane. If they are a little uneven, don't worry, it looks like it's come from Santa's workshop made by the little elves. And a candy cane pencil is ready. For the next pencil, we take some masking tape and cover the top portion of it and spray the entire pencil with some spray paint. We have chosen the copper color. Once the spray paint has dried, we remove the masking tape and cover just the eraser on the top. Now we take our fevicol and apply it all over this metallic part of the pencil and pour gold glitter all over it. Shake off any excess glitter and once it's dry, remove the masking tape. Next we have taken a waterproof metallic marker and we are going to write fa la 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 on the pencil. And you can sing along as well. It's the season to be jolly. Fa la 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 la. And a gold tip pencil with a Christmas carol is all ready as well. We've also spray painted another pencil with this copper color. And on this we're just going to do some nice white and red dots. We are going to make a triangular shaped pen or pencil stand for which we will need 3 wooden planks and a triangular base. All vertical edges of these planks are cut in a diagonal pattern so that they will be able to fit in a triangle properly. We got them cut and sanded from Mr. Vinay, our local carpenter from RN Furnitures. Time to start painting. So we have chosen this tomato red color for the inside of the stand. Once they are dried, flip them over so that we can start painting on the other side. For the outer part, we'll be using a copper-colored spray paint. 
So shake the can well and just start spraying. Once they are dried, it's time to assemble them. So I'll be using this fevicol on the edges to so join them together. You can use any glue of your preference. Very carefully align them together that they're nicely joined. It takes some time for fevicol to fuse two pieces of wood together. So make sure you have an extra pair of hands for help. Attach the base of our stand in the same manner. For extra security till the glue dries, attach some masking tape at the corners. Now let's leave that aside to dry. For decorating our stand, we'll be using some air dried clay. So we take some part of it and knead it properly. Once that's done, we take our rolling pin and flatten out our clay. Now bring in our stand to measure how much amount of clay you'll need and cut out any excess. To give our stand a Christmassy feel, I'm going to cut our clay into the shape of a Christmas tree. Time to keep it aside for drying. But before that, we'll take the polythene that we have kept the clay on and fold it in half and measure again on the stand because this will be on the edge of the stand. So we'll have to fold it up so that it is nicely covering the stand. Now air dry clay takes about 24 hours to dry. So we'll just keep it aside and come back to it tomorrow. So our clay is almost dried, but before it is completely dried, I'm going to make these incisions on the tree to make it look more realistic. You can use any sharp object that you want for this. Now that it is completely dried, let's start painting it. So we're doing a nice dark green on the tree. Once that's done, let's add some light green to give it a nice textured feel. Once it's all completed, before the paint dries, let's sprinkle some gold glitter onto it and add some red colored Christmas bubbles. What's a tree without its ornaments, right? Time to remove the masking from our stand and see if our stand is properly fused or not. And it is nice and sturdy and the red color inside is popping up so nicely. Time to attach our tree to the stand. So we're going to do that with the help of our hot glue gun. Align it properly on one of the edges of our stand and press it gently onto it. And our Christmas themed pen and pencil stand is all ready. Isn't it looking pretty and beautiful? Looking at it literally makes me want to sing. Oh Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree, how lovely are thy branches. To start, we'll need some dark chocolate, cocoa powder, chocolate chips, some cinnamon powder and marshmallow and also something to put the mixture in. We'll start by adding a teaspoon of cinnamon powder, 3 to 4 teaspoons of cocoa powder or you can take less or more amount of it depending on your taste. So our two layers are done. For the third layer, we'll add our dark chocolate. And then the choco chips. Put as much as you want. Next we'll add our favorite, the marshmallows. Once all the ingredients are put together, we close it up. And the hot chocolate mix is all ready. And as you can see, all the layers are very properly defined. This is sufficient for at least two cups of hot chocolate. Now let's give this a Christmassy feel. So I'm going to put a red pom pom to depict the nose of Rudolph the reindeer and this decorative item for the horns. On a piece of parchment paper or baking sheet, take a dollop of melted chocolate and spread it around evenly, but make sure it is not too thin. Once that is done, we take our marshmallows and place them gently over this melted chocolate. Now I'm taking three because I'm doing a snowman. To depict the hands, I've used the chocolate wafer rolls. For the eyes, I've used chocolate chips by just dipping them in some melted chocolate and placing it directly over the marshmallows. And I've also done a reindeer shaped one by placing a red colored popping right in the center of one marshmallow. Now pop them in the fridge to harden. And our chocolate is all set. Now we just have to make the sections and cut it out. They don't need to be even or neat. The beauty of it is the unevenness. 
very slowly and delicately remove them from the parchment paper and keep them aside. And our chocolate goodies are done. To make the soap this year, we'll be using some Christmassy molds. So we've already melted our soap base using the double boiler method. We'll start with our honey and glycerin based soap. To this, we'll add about 10 drops of cocoa vanilla fragments and about 10 drops of peppermint essential oil. Mix this thoroughly and with the help of a measuring cup or ladle, pour it directly into our molds. So this clear base I'm going to use for the gingerbread man. Next, we'll bring in our goat milk soap base and add the fragments and essential oils accordingly. To this, we'll also be adding half a teaspoon of gold colored soap mica. Mix this thoroughly and pour into the mold quickly as mica tends to dry faster than the normal base. Continue the same process for the third soap and add half a teaspoon of blue colored mica and keep them aside to dry for a few hours. Once they are nicely set, let's start removing it from the mold and just look how pretty they are. So we know soaps are not a stationary item, but come on, the kids can't go back to school without washing their hands, right? And they would definitely love to with such cute looking soaps. And all of our Christmas themed soaps are completely ready. Tell us which one is your favorite. I think ours would be the gingerbread man. For the main stocking, we have taken a red cloth which we have cut vertically and folded in half. Then we bring in the cutout of our stocking that we have done on a card paper. So we place it on our cloth and secure it with some pins so that we can cut it properly. And the main body of our stocking is ready. Just cut at the top so that you have two pieces. For the top border, we have taken this checkered cloth and we got the perfect Christmas colors, red and white and we'll be attaching this on the top of the stocking. Measure the top part of the stocking and cut this cloth out accordingly. Once they are cut, we'll start joining it. For this, I've taken a dark maroon colored cloth and cut it in the shape of the stocking. So we'll have four of these cutouts, two for the inner lining and two for the outer one. Now let's align them properly and get it stitched. But before we do that, let's make it a little more Christmassy. With the help of a hot glue gun, I'm going to attach these letters directly onto the stocking. So I have cut out the word joy from some off-white felt cloth. You can personalize your stocking any which way you want. You can either write your name or your initials. It's completely up to you. Kids would definitely love a stocking that is completely addressed to them. So once that is done, we turn it over and stitch it along all the three edges, leaving the top part open. We'll just turn that part inward and stitch it up. And our stocking is all ready. Isn't it pretty? And the word joy is standing out so beautifully and the border that we've got, it was perfect. And we've made one more stocking with a little different design. For this, we have used the border that we use for joy as the main body and on top, some beautiful white fur. We will be stuffing this stocking with all of our goodies and the kids can use this as a stocking bag every Christmas.
that brings us to the end of today's video and we really hope you have enjoyed our ideas for the kids hamper because the kids truly deserve a gift from santa this year and some treats and goodies too yes so if you have liked our video do give us a big fat thumbs up and share this video with your friends and family so that they can get inspired to make these Yes, and since we're talking about gifting, subscribing to our channel will be the perfect gift for us. So please do that, and we will see you next week with another Christmas video. Until next time, this is Daddy Dames signing, signing off. off.